Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. And New Hampshire's technology companies are among the most innovative and cutting edge companies uh, of that type in New Hampshire's history. They're into things like satellites, self-driving cars, smartphones, and 3D manufacturing. And my guest will talk about that in a minute. But first, here are the numbers for the tech industry. Contributes $11.12 billion to New Hampshire's GDP. Employs nearly 72,000 people. Software and software services count the most jobs. Biotech and Biomed alone counts 200 plus companies in New Hampshire. Then there's this quote from the New Hampshire Center for Public Policy that says the tech sector is the strongest engine of economic activity in New Hampshire. And this quote from my guest, and it is a New Hampshire Business Review article, uh, quote, uh, Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson aren't launching rockets out of New Hampshire. However, those billionaires aren't going far without companies like New Hampshire-born Rogue Space Systems. Rogue designs satellite vehicles and subsystems to provide on-orbit service like upgrades, repairs, and so forth. And the person who uh, said that, or wrote that, is Julie Demers, who is Executive Director of the New Hampshire Tech Alliance. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, before we take a look at some of these uh, amazing companies, um, what's the biggest issue facing your members right now in New Hampshire? Yeah, so workforce has been and continues to be the biggest issue facing New Hampshire companies. And I think we're going to see a continuation of that because to your point, we are talking about staffing and looking at talent pipelines for emerging industries um, that don't even exist yet, right? Uh, we're right. trying to chain, train the next generation of talent for roles that seem like something out of the Jetsons. Yeah. You have, um, it's interesting, uh, just a side note, uh, I've noticed during the pandemic that tech companies were the, uh, were the uh, easiest to uh, work remotely rather than other companies because they had the technology. Just, yes. a, just a comment. Mm -hmm. uh, you have some next generation tech companies uh, that are on the cutting edge. Um, I'm thinking of those that were in your Entrepreneur of the Year Award uh, this past year, uh, like Mainstay Technologies in Manchester, for instance. Mm -hmm. Mainstay Technologies is a great example of our membership and also types of technology companies in New Hampshire. They have such a steadfast commitment to creating a really positive culture and, and they growing. Do, and they do what? Uh, they, they do um, managed IT systems. Yeah, um, right. Yeah, right. outsourced IT for, yeah. for companies. So they're also helping other companies scale and grow. Um, and they're just a, a shining example of, of a New Hampshire company that's dedicated to the culture, to their employees, and the Granite State itself. What other one? What other company that it, it, it comes to mind? Real yeah, quick. Yeah, this is the best part of my job is getting to know and getting to peek behind the curtain of some of the technologies that are coming out of New Hampshire. Um, recently, we toured um, Micros Technologies up in Claremont. So when you talk about these um, companies that are supporting the, the larger companies, Micros creates um, liquid cooling systems for microchips that allow things like uh, AI, um, autonomous vehicles, um, lasers. Uh, they're working with groups like NASA. Um, so they allow those technologies to advance by wow. providing that back end support. Wow. I, I know another of your focus as, a, as the executive director, you have to look at the legislature in Concord to see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you looking at up there? Yeah, so we're paying attention to um, any legislation that could have a potential impact on workforce, right? Workforce housing. Um, and we also try to be the connective tissue between our members, Concord, and then some of other, our other stakeholders holders like higher ed partners in the state um, to do information sharing both ways. Let them know when they need to be paying attention to something and when um, Concord needs to be informed on what technologies are being developed here and rather um, sort of guided through navigating sure. what those technologies are. That's where we come in and can, can be a conduit. Quick elevator speech. Yes on why a company or a group of individuals ought to look at New Hampshire to establish a tech company rather than somewhere else. It's a very easy one and it's access. I don't think there's another state in the country that provides a level of access to key decision makers, um, other CEOs and peers like the state of New Hampshire. So at any given time, you can be in contact with who you need to be to move something forward. Um, and in addition to that, there's the idea of access as a community and then access to talent because we are just right. north of Boston. Julie Demers, Executive Director of the New Hampshire Tech Alliance, thank you. Thank you. And if you missed part of her briefing, you can go to WMUR.com where it will be posted all this week.